Shalom everyone, welcome to our midweek devotion time. I'm here to share with you a passage taken from 2 Kings chapter 11. It's a very long uh, chapter, but it's also a very interesting chapter. Let me read to you what this chapter is all about. When Atalia, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she proceeded to destroy the whole royal family. But Jehoshiba, the daughter of King Jehoram and sister of Hazaziah, took Joash, son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the royal princes who were about to be murdered. She put him and his nurse in a bedroom to hide from Atalia, so he was not killed. He remained hidden with his nurse at the temple of the Lord for six years, while Atalia ruled the land. In the seventh year, Jehoiada sent for the commanders of unit for of a hundred, the Kerarites and the guards, and had them brought to him at the temple of the Lord. He made a covenant with them and put them under oath at the temple of the Lord. Then he showed them the king's son. He commanded them, saying, This is what you are to do. You who are in three companies that are going on duty on the Sabbath, a third of you guarding the royal palace, a third at the sir gate, and a third at the gate behind the guard, who take turns guarding the temple. And you who are in the other two companies that normally go off Sabbath duty are all to guard the temple for the king. Station yourself around the king, each of you with a weapon in hand. Anyone who approaches your rank is to be put to death. Stay close to the king wherever he goes. The commanders of units of a hundred did just as Jehoiada the priest ordered. Each one took his men. Those who were going on duty on the Sabbath and those who were going off duty and came to Jehoiada the priest. Then he gave the commanders the spears and shield that, he ha that had belonged to King David, and that they were in the temple of the Lord. Verse 11. The guards, each with weapon in hand, stationed themselves around the king near the altar and the temple, from the south side to the north side of the temple. Jehoiada brought out the king's son and put the crown on him. He presented him with a copy of the covenant and proclaim him king. They anointed him, and the people clapped their hands and shouted, Long live the king! When Atalia heard the noise came by the guards and the people, she went to the people at the temple of the Lord. She looked, and there was the king, standing by the pillar. As the custom was, the officer and the trumpeters were beside the king. And all the people of the land were rejoicing and blowing trumpets. Then Atalia tore her robes and cried out, Treason! Treason! Jehoiada the priest ordered the commanders of units of a hundred who were in charge of the troop, bring her out between the ranks and put on the sword anyone who follows her. For the priest had said, She must not be put to death in the temple of the Lord. So they seized her as she reached the place where the horses entered the palace ground, and there she was put to death. Jehoiada then made a covenant between the Lord and the king, and the people that were that would be the lost people. He also made a covenant between the king and the people. All the people of the land went to the temple of Baal and tore it down. They smashed the altars and idols to pieces, and killed Martin the priest of Baal in front of the altars. Then Jehoiada the priest posted guards at the temple of the Lord. He took with him the commanders of hundreds, the Kerarites, the guards, and all the people of the land. And together they brought the king down from the temple of the Lord, and went into the palace, entering by the way of the gate of the guards. The king then took his place on the royal throne. All the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was calm, because Atalia 
had been slain with a sword at the palace. Joash was seven years old when he began to reign. This is the word of God. Don't you find this story very interesting? It's like the drama that we see in movies where someone wants to usurp the throne, especially the empress, the warrior. So here we see Atalia, the, the king's mother, the king's mother who was hungry for the throne. When she saw that her son died, she makes sure no one is eligible for the throne by killing all of them including her grandchildren. How evil can one be? How evil can a person get? And so here we see Atalia doing just that. And Atalia, by the way, is a descendant of Ahab and Jezebel, the evil king during the time of Elijah, where they had the battle at Mount Carmel. If you have been following the TBTW reading. You see, evil begin to reign. But God remember His covenant, if you have read chapter 8, where there will be a perpetual descendant on the throne of David. And here the devil tries to cut it short, making sure that no one would take that throne. Such an evil plan by the evil one. But still, God has his ultimate plan. He sent somebody, the sister of Hazalia, the king who had just died, to hide his son and make sure that he is not touched. And for six years, she kept him in safety. And on the seventh year, the high priest, who has known this secret for a long time, began to plan how to dethrone the Queen Atalia. And so you can see the plan, how he has organized it so well, making sure that the king is protected, making sure that the weapon used were all from King David's armory. And so you see, how the Lord always wins the war, even though when the battle seems that we are at a loss. Oftentimes, we may face in a very difficult situation in our life. We feel that people are persecuting us. We feel that people are coming down upon us. But remember, God has always the final say. God will have a plan to rescue us and to restore us back to our rightful place. And this was what happened in this chapter. Joash was enthroned as king in the line of King David. And so the stories continue on. And so the lesson that we can learn here is, evil may reign, but God will triumph over evil. Things may look bad, but keep trusting God, for He will be faithful to deliver us. Goodness will emerge out victorious for you and I when we put our whole trust in God. May the Lord bless you as you face life challenges. Remember, God reigns. God will try it. We may lose the battle. But God wants us to win the war. God bless.